Hi, I'm Chris from Pyro Digital and today I will show you how to use our new FMA firing module. First of all, when you start working with it, please always make sure to switch it off first. Here. After that, you will connect it to the network. You have one input. And you have three outputs, which is basically the same as all the um, splitter you usually use. After that, you will choose the address of your FMA. In this case, I will put it to 3.3. And now you can start working with your e-matches and put it into any clamp that you would like to use. I will use 7 now. So I put the wires in and make sure to pinch it down. So when you pull it, it's safe. I will do the same thing with another one now, and I will use clamp 6. Pinch it, and then it's secure. The last step now is only to switch it on again. Important, while working with the FMs, please make sure that the network cable is not connected to your field controller. Now we're looking at the field controller. The first thing you have to do is push the button and shortly wait for it. Now you can plug in the network cable, push the check status button and now it's really important that you clear the firing side of personal and that you check that it is safe to turn up the power for the network by turning this key to check. In order to access the check status operating mode, the safety key must be armed to check position. If it is safe to proceed per all warnings and safety procedures outlined in the phase 3 system network user's guide, the user may then turn the key to check position. It is required that the user practices using check status operating mode in an inert test environment. Please read the section Practice and inert testing in the operating instructions of your FCA field controller for more information on inert testing and practice with test lamps. Now you can check the connection of your clamps. In this example, everything is OK. In case there is any issue with the connection of your clamps, please do as following. First, you press the stop button and turn the key to off. After that, you will unplug the network cable again and turn off the device. Again, before working with the FMA, you will put the power off and now you can correct anything that is wrong. I put the wire back in again, pinch it, and now you do the same procedure back again and check if it worked now. For more information and videos, please check out our website, piodigital.com. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.